but you have loopage. So this is that loop that we just got done seeing. You can change the color of the background and you can also change how many apps show in this little pop-up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today we're gonna talk about a brand new addition to GoodLock 2020 that just showed up this morning and it's called Home Up. This is a way that you're able to enhance and further customize your One UI home experience. Now it's not only on the Galaxy S20 series. I took a look at my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This one is running Samsung One UI 2.1 and Home Up is there as an option. So as long as you have your Samsung and Galaxy phone updated to One UI 2.1, it'll show up. If you're not updated yet to 2.1 and you're still on 2.0, write a comment below the video letting me know if you still see it. Before we dive deep in this brand new edition of GoodLock 2020, if you guys appreciate this video, if you guys love getting updates the moment they happened and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you hit on that subscribe button. About 84% of you watching this video is not subscribed, so join this party. It is free to subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell for notifications on the very top and click the option for all so you don't miss any brand new updates. Now, once you open Home Up, just turn this one on and there is three different categories. The first category that I wanna talk about is the one on the bottom, which is backup and restore. It's a way that you're able to restore your previous home screen settings because this one is a way that you're able to change a lot of settings with home screen and folder. So let's say that you love the way that you have yours set up right now. Turn this one on and then hit immediate. So then this way you can immediately save everything that you have set up right now. And then this right here, let's say that in the future you made any type of changes, you wanna go back to the original, you can just tap this one and it brings you back. Or let's say you made a few changes here in just a couple seconds, you love that setup, you can also save that one as well. So you have two different uh, home screen backups that you can go back to to restore. So now that we got that one out of the way, I'm gonna turn it off for now because I don't need it to update every single day. Uh, I'm, I'll probably update it once I have it looking perfect here in a minute, but let's first go through home screen. So through the home screen, you have all these options here. The first one is that you're able to change and enhance your home screen layout, the grid, further than what you can do inside of the normal Samsung settings. So right now, the max settings we're able to do was five by six. Now let's say that we do the six by six, now, once you hit on apply, when you head back home, you can see that it's gonna make a little bit of a change. So actually these icons right here were actually full. It was a five by six grid. And now that I made it larger, I have a full extra section right here that I can put another folder. Now, if you would like to make another change, just go right back inside of there and let's just move this one to the maximum. Now this one's a seven by seven. It's a pretty large um, change and these icons do get pretty small. So the seven by seven is probably one that I would not use personally, just because you know the icons are pretty small. Also, you can change the way that your folder layout uh, looks. So right here, you have a three by three. You can make it like a four by four, so you can see more icons. But this little home screen doesn't really make it, uh, you know, useful. So we're gonna go right back over inside of the six by six. This is one that you know I am a little bit of a fan of for sure. You can also change your app screen layout as well. So if you like to add more apps per the screen, you can do that. So I'm gonna move this one over just once. We're gonna go right inside of here. So now I have one additional row. So instead of a five by one, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of a five by six, I now have a six by six. And then this way I can see a lot more applications per screen. So this one I do like, so I'm going to keep this one. Now, when you head back inside of GoodLock, we're still inside the home screens. I got these two exactly where I want them to be. Now you can have your background blur control. So this is what happens, you know, when you pull up your little app screen right there is if you don't have any blur, and then this is where you do have blur. You can see how it completely goes out. Now this is my background as of now. You can change how much of a blur you would like to have from a scale of zero to 100%. So now what's gonna happen is, let's say that we go right on back and I pull this up everything in the back is completely blurred out. And I'd have to say that these icons and, and letters and the way that everything sits out uh, looks really good, a little bit more vivid than what it did before. So once you download uh, the, the home up, you'll be able to notice that your screen grid or the apps grid will actually be a little bit more vivid. So this is where you can turn on or off the background blur. You can also loop your pages and you can hide the app icon label. All the app icon label means is that you do not know the names of these applications. 
but you have loopage. So this is that loop that we just got done seeing. So the way that I have mine set up is that I want to be able to read my icon labels. The looping of the pages is on 100% for the background blur, the 6x6 as well as 6x6. So now when I go back home, when I go inside of my little application tray here, I can just keep swiping one way and it goes right back to where it was before. Beforehand, you would have to swipe back to go back to the past page. So now that we're done with all of the home screen stuff and we also talked about the backup and restore, let's do the last one, which is folders. This is where you can change uh, the way that your folders look. So with this one right up over here, if you wanna have a folder or like a pop-up folder version. So let me show you what it looks like first. So first off, when you open a folder, it's the entire screen. You even see the word, you know, every day, everything is uh, blurred in the background. It takes up a lot of space. Now, when you go right back inside of Goodlock, when you pop, when you pop up this little pop-up folder, then it's gonna show this little thing right here. You can also change the color of the letters. If you want it to be white or black, you can change the color of the background. And you can also change how many apps show in this little pop-up. So you can change, uh, you know, you can see that even though my folders, you know, is green, gray, yellow, it's always going to pop up that color because that's the way we have it set up. So let's just go right back inside of here of the settings, because even though this one is turned on, you can still tap right here. And then this is where you can change the color. If you want it to be a white color or black color, this is where you can change uh, any of these little pastel like type colors or the entire color grid. If you want a specific color to pop up, you can choose any of those colors. You also have your background transparency and then also the background corners that you can also change. So if you go through here and you want it to be a completely different color, so now it's gonna look like this, but I do kind of like this little green color. So we're gonna head right on back. Now, when this one is turned on, you're not able to do this folder title suggestion. So when you have this one turned off, you can actually turn this one on. So it actually uses a machine learning, taking a look at all of the applications inside of there. So for example, I have this one that's down here that is called tools. Uh, Samsung might pick up even maybe the word tools on this one possibly because all the stuff that's in here is calculator, calendar, and also clock. Now, when it comes down for me personally, I'm not gonna really have this folder suggestion turned on. Um, it will actually come up with different suggestions that you're able to use. So this one could be a little handy if you don't really know what to call it, but I already like to you know, title mine a specific name. So turn this on if you would like a folder to automatically give you three options of what you should title it. Then you also have the folder grid. So for example, when it comes down to the folder icon, that's what we were talking about from before, where it showed the three by three by three, you know? Let's say that we do that, uh, that four by four, and then let's also change the folder screen. So this is what happens when the folder is actually shut and it's just an icon. And then this one over here is what happens when it's opened. So let's head right on back home. You can see that there's multiple icons here. It's that four by four instead of the three by three. That's why if you had that, that home screen as a seven by seven, these would be super small. So even if you didn't go to that home screen of six by six, you went to a five by five, these icons would be quite a bit larger. Now, when you tap it open, you're gonna have that larger small menu that pops up that shows you more icons. So let me show you really fast what I mean when you change the home screen. So you can see how we made the app icons more uh, within that one showing. Let's go back into this, move back over into home screen. Let's do our home screen grid. Let's move it back over into that. Let's do that five by six. That'd be fine. So now when you head back home, you can see how it's a little bit larger of a folder. That small little circle that was here, that was empty space is now filled up. And then now these icons are just slightly larger. So this is where you can go through, fully customize everything on your phone from your application folder that you're able to loop around, how many icons you want. You can change the grid even more than what you were from before. Uh, home screen, you can go beyond what the settings were originally supposed to be done with. Uh, with this folder here, I'm gonna go uh, right back inside of here with the folder uh, icon, I'm gonna keep it as the three by three, but my folder screen, keeping it as five by five. Uh, Pop-up folder, you can either have on or off, it's up to you. Um, so when you do try to change your grid of what it looked like, it'll be turned off because you're gonna have it in pop-up form. So if you're somebody who likes to see more and more on your screen, keep that one off change your folder, the, the folder grid where the folder screen goes a little bit larger and then you'll be good to go from, you know, what it was from before. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.